Tina Turner bid an emotional farewell to her fans just months before her tragic passing. It was announced today that the Queen of Rock and Roll had passed away at the age of 83 after a long illness. She died at her home near Zurich in Switzerland, as tributes have flooded in for the music legend. In 2021, she fronted a brand new documentary about her life, which saw Tina look back at her life and bid farewell to her fans. The documentary detailed how the singer had to overcome a painful past to finally find happiness. The documentary's release came amid Tina's ill health, which included a stroke and a battle with cancer as well as having kidney failure which led to her needing a transplant in 2017. Speaking about her life at the time, she said, the good did not balance the bad. I had an abusive life, there's no other way to tell the story. It's a reality. It's a truth. That's what you've got, so you have to accept it. Some people say the life that I lived and the performances that I gave, the appreciation, is blasting with the people. And yeah, I should be proud of that. I am. But when do you stop being proud? I mean, when do you, how do you bow out slowly? Just go away? Tina's sad death was confirmed today, as the world bid their farewell to the What's Love Got To Do With It singer. A statement released by her representatives read, Tina Turner, the queen of rock and roll, has died peacefully today at the age of 83 after a long illness in her home in Kusnacht near Zurich, Switzerland. With her, the world loses a music legend and a role model. Tina Turner was born Anna Mae Bullock on November 26, 1939, in Nutbush, Tennessee, USA. She became famous in the late 60s as the singer of the band Ike and Tina Turner Review, but later she became successful worldwide as a solo artist. With her music and her inexhaustible vitality, Tina Turner thrilled millions of fans and inspired many artists of subsequent generations. They added, global hits like What's Love Got To Do With It, Private Dancer, and The Best, more than 180 million albums sold, 12 Grammy Awards and over three decades of sold-out stadium tours around the world are just part of her unique legacy. There will be a private funeral ceremony attended by close friends and family. Please respect the privacy of her family at this difficult time. If you're struggling and need to talk, the Samaritans operate a free helpline open 24-7 on 116-123. Alternatively, you can email Joe at Samaritans or go visit their site to find your local branch if you need help. Call the National Domestic Abuse Helpline on 0808-2000-247. It's run by Charity Refuge and the free number is in operation 24 hours a day. Come